This is Wag Chicago. We had another uh, CME happen after the one I reported on at midnight last night. <clears throat> uh, last night, you remember this is the picture I showed. It was showing uh, the energy x-rays hitting Asia and Australia. Well, here's right now. Right now, the United States is dead center. Well, southern United States, basically. Dead center on a uh, radiation. So, it's, it's not stopping. I know they're playing it down, which they're probably supposed to do. And I don't like uh, scaring people either. So, if you got to be outside, cover up. If you don't got to be outside, wait till this ship passes by. These these particles, these X-rays are hitting the Earth through the atmosphere to the ground. So, there it is, right there. Boom. The first one was at around 1,500 UTC. I'm just playing it through here. And bam, 1600. Now we're doing waves again. It was two hours later. I'll go back and show it. Look at this. Look at how long it's lasting. Wow. This is a big one. Meaning a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy hitting the earth. Here's the first one. 14, 1442 UTC. 321. 2019. Starts right here. I'll go one frame by frame here. And you can see here. Look at it light up this chart. It goes zoop right up. Then it's going to drop. And then we go forward. It was about 1400. Two hours later. Bam. It's almost exactly two hours. About the same intensity. <laughs> Excuse me. So that was two hours later. 1602 was the peak. You, I'm going to back up. You could see it pulsating. I'm going to go forward. I mean, that one lasts a long time. That lasted all the way to 1622 hours. And I think there's one more. Yep. Little blast there. At the tail end. And I think there's another one. Yep. Here it comes. 1655. Not even an hour later. And it's peeking out over. Oh, this might be even bigger. This one's bigger than the first one. Look at this. Watch this. It's hitting up to 10. Over 10. Wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. Now. What this means if there's any earthquakes and volcanoes in that area, which is right over Mexico, I know they've been having an issue with a volcano down there recently. This could jack it up. This is the shit that makes, allegedly makes earthquakes snap that usually don't happen, things like that. There's arguments back and forth about it, but um, when this kind of energy is absorbing into the ground, it goes all the way in. It goes through your body, through the earth, into the core. I mean, look at this. We'll have to keep watching this. This is where it stops right here. So this is live. This is live right now. We're still at over 10. Just under 10 as I speak right now. And it is uh, 12.50 uh, Chicago time. Let's take a look real quick since I'm recording here. Uh, let's see what this is showing. This is going back to 320, which I think I covered last night. But let's see the second if the second one shows up on here. Boom. That was the first one on the 20th. And there should be a backup one behind it. And then the one this morning. There's a second one. This angle, you're not going to see it. Or they clip it. Huh. Stops at 9.24. Let's go over here real quick. And you'll see. Look at this K index. It's not show. They're cutting off. See how it's missing data? This is what I hate about these guys. 
right here. This should be showing a K. There has to be K and There has to be something with the radiation hitting the earth. This is showing they're not recording it. They're not reporting it, I should say. They're recording it. They're not letting you know. Right here. Missing time. They turned off the sensor. It should look like this. See the double pulse? That was the one from yesterday I showed you. Where is the one now? And remember, the day before that, we had that weird spike, almost 10, that came through. So I don't even know if this is from the, the, the sun or is this energy coming from space? I don't know. I don't know. There's no sunspot. I mean, the sun's quiet except for those two spots right here. And I will do another video in a little bit. I want to watch these. Uh, oh, we're at a mag uh, six now for tomorrow. Or the 23rd, Saturday. They're showing a six. Possibly up to a nine is what I'm hearing. So this is the one coming. This hasn't even hit yet. That's the one from yesterday. There's another one right behind it. It blew off after I did the video. So there's a, it's going to be a one-two punch. If not a third, if another one blows today even. So something's triggering the sun to get a little more active here. And um, let's see if they still got it on here. Real get quiet. See if they're still showing it. Yep, right there. So as you can see, it comes through. Boom. And look at the shockwave behind it. Watch that shockwave behind it. Hmm. Over here is the Earth also looking at it from above. Look at that weird shape it makes. As soon as it crosses the Earth that they're predicting here. Look at this. Watch this one here. I think this is bigger than they're telling you. Well, they're not telling you anything. If it wasn't for me and uh, it was a blue Kool-Aid and a couple other people, you wouldn't even know about this. You probably don't know about it if you don't see my channel or his. But other than that, whatever. There's some weird shit going on. We had that moon last night. I didn't have it here. We had clouds instead. So I couldn't get any video last night. And I'm sure it was giant and huge and extra white. So bright that you can't tell the sun from the moon. If I were to show it to you side by side and not tell you or show you the sky direction. Let's see the cactus. This is the one that Kool-Aid channel keeps talking about. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't want to download it. There are two active regions on the visible solar solar flare, solar influence data up on top. I'm reading what they're saying. Predicted a 10 centimeter flux 77. Predicted AP index four. So these guys are saying four. The other one's saying six. I've heard as high as an eight to nine possible. They don't know. They they these are estimates. Until it hits us, we don't know. But this is showing how the sunspots have dropped. This is why the magnetic shield's down, by the way. Because the activity of these sunspots, when it's always giving off a lot of energy, the solar sh or the magnetic field of the earth charges up, so to speak. Kind of when you rub a balloon on your head and you get that static electricity, it's kind of like that. And you're building up all that electric. Well, if you stop rubbing the balloon on your head, and let's say that electric field protected you from a baseball hitting you in the head. Let's just say, and so you can picture what I'm talking about. Then you stop rubbing that balloon. You were protected from anything hitting you in the head. Now if something comes flying by, hits you in the head. That's what we're dealing with. <laughs> How's that for an analogy? <laughs> The baseball solar analogy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. I think it's funny. I don't know. I don't know how to read this, so I'm not even going to pretend I know what this means, but it doesn't look good. I think this is a 5, C2, C3, C4. These are the. This is the size, I think. Look how long this one is. 
in the west, I think. I think this is on the sun. They're telling you where the location, I think. I don't study all this. I can't. There's too much stuff to learn. I know this chart. I know that chart. This is the other wheel chart. They call it an Enlil. Enlil. Right here. E-N-L-I-L. -L. Uh, why is it on a temporary page? That's weird. And the site's not secure either. That's really weird. Something's going on. And does this wheel play anything? 326. Why is it out the... Uh, ah! They got rid... You can't see it on this one. Are they going to change this? Hang on. They did this last week. They, they cut it off. Look, they're showing you the explosion afterwards. Hang on, hang on. I don't want to get too excited. Hang on. Are they going to show it? I'm waiting for them to pull it down. That's why I'm getting excited. Look at that thing. Whoo! That looks bigger to me than they're saying, dude. That thing, the earth is this little ball. This goes from, watch, let me, can I pause this thing? Let me show you, let me show you how big this wave of energy is. It gets wide. It looks like the, remember that black shit that came off the sun? It almost looks like it's behind this. Like it's some weird man. I'm just saying. I don't know shit. It looks funky is what I'm saying. Now, is, I'm watching right here. This, the red, the kill shot looks like it's going to miss the heavy, heavy red. Looks like the most energy, uh, to my opinion. Looks like it's going to be north of this earth here to the top side of it. I don't know if it's really north or not, but on this picture, north, up. But we're still in the red. So, but I'm talking about size-wise, how many of these little green dots can you add up to this whole length of this energy blast? Probably one, that'd be two, three, four, five. I bet you seven, eight, nine Earths, maybe ten. Ten Earths wide is that blast coming at us. And then down here, that's plasma. This is radio velocity. Let's watch the bottom. I'm always watching the plasma. The plasma is what's going to take your power lines down. Or your cell phone down. Or your internet down. So when people are bitching Saturday night. Why the internet's so slow. Or it's down. Or Facebook's down. It could be their satellite got hit by this thing. And you'll know at the party. Because you paid attention to WAG Chicago. Or Blue Kool-Aid. Or I don't know who else is doing this. I know he's doing it. Uh, I know that guy Scott. I think uh, I think it's oh, I don't know his site. I sort of got off the top of my head. Um, go to Blue Kool Aid. He talks about it all the time. It's Scott Sion. I can't remember his site. It's um, I'll 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 put a link later. I can't remember his site off the top of my head. I think these. Uh, let me look here. Hang on. This looks different. No, it is the same. Check that out. So look how this whips up, same as it is here. However, it doesn't show. Like here, the density. Look how dense this is. And then you see it, if you like graphs better, you'll see the spike right here. So, if I go backwards, I'm just trying to show you how this works. So, as I was getting closer to showing you where this impact hits the Earth, that's right here. This is following along with this over here on this graph. So, as we go to the right... It's going to peak. They're guessing it's going to peak right there. And the time is on the bottom. Three. Between the 23rd and 24th. That's all they could tell you. Uh, one of them saying it's going to be early Saturday. And some are saying late Saturday. Not some. NOAA versus NASA. They compete against each other when they predict this shit. I don't know. It sounds crazy. Now, if you want to play with this stuff, go to SWPC. Sam William Paul Charles dot Noah N O A A dot gov, and when you get there, uh, I'll put a link in my site. Never mind, I'll just put a link. Go down in the description; the link will be there. Um, you can play with this, like here, space weather, GPS. They got different uh, categories that you can look up, and there's a lot to learn here. Maybe we'll go over this. You know what? I'm gonna do a show on this because uh, I know there's people out here that want to learn this stuff. 
and uh, I'll learn something by re rehashing over. But real quickly, go to dashboards, and then they give you like four, what, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven categories that they'll give you different setups for a dashboard. This one's for space enthusiasts. That's technically what I would be. So then they give you these all in one page. It's all, it's real nice to use. And then you click here, hit the play button. That'll start that downloading the data. Over here, this is the prediction center for the. Let's see what they're showing now for the Aurora. They were showing possibly down the Chicagoland area for the Aurora yesterday. Let's see what it shows now. It's loading up right now. Now you'll see. As the dark, this is the sun side, dark side. Watch, and then this green is the Aurora. Or the northern lights here it comes down going into the future here oh that's about now 321 that's right now it's not showing the future i thought they went forward 321 i think that's showing right now it looks almost to me like the wind the solar wind is blowing this direction if you watch this watch this real quick watch how that was uh, getting stuck there just around Alaska, actually. And Alaska's having earthquakes right now. This is what I'm telling you. This blast right over us right now. Alaska was already getting jittery. Oh, what was that? So, this extra little bit of energy. It seems like a little. But to the earth, it all adds up. Because it's getting soaked in. The earth's soaking it up. It likes this. This is like getting a shot of adrenaline or something, right? Anyways, if you want to see these charts anytime... I'm going to link this on my website also, wagscgo.com. I'm going to do that right now. So there will always be a live update. If you can't remember this stuff, my site's pretty easy to remember. It's always in the link. I try to put it in the links all the time. Wagscgo.com. And the reason I want everybody to go there is for the Schumann residence because that one's always hard to dig up. Let's see what the Schumann's doing right now since the blast. Nothing. This is so strange to me. We're getting all this energy... Why is none of my sites secure right now? This is strange. None of my sites are secure. Well, that's a little freaky deaky. Okay. Uh, here's a live view uh, of the Schumann Resonance. And it's in the normal range. See this green line right here? This is where we're used to. This is called the God Frequency. And we had a little blast about... 14 hours ago 12 hours ago would be mid right around the time i did the video so this would have been last night when i posted so this this could be from that first initial uh the big one that blew the bigger one uh i wonder if that's from that i don't know but that's that's the only thing that would be take seven minutes to get from the sun to here that's around the same time just guessing off the top of my head i'd have to sit down side by side but it's around the same time so this interference here could be from that could be i don't know but see here you're getting some weird stuff in this 24 hertz and if you look at mind of men on uh i'll put a link in here too they talk about the mk ultra and all that stuff and they were looking back then and like i just talked about the other night with the elf frequencies they knew a long time ago frequencies can control your emotion to simple stuff like that to make you happy sad they use it in movies they say uh the patents are there for it i'm sure people will probably get in trouble for manipulating your mind in a movie theater so i'm sure you're never going to find out for sure unless you bring in some kind of meter or whatever but I've read that um, they can use that to make you start crying during a scene of a movie. And you'll start crying and you're like, I don't cry. I I'm talking about other people. Uh, <laughs> anyway, then you all of a sudden you'll get like overwhelmed and there's nothing really going on. It's right before a scene's going to start. They allegedly uh, send those frequencies through the speakers. So, who knows? Now, this is kind of a weird shape here. It looks like it has a dome on it. Like, almost like... And there's a duplicate of it in two different frequencies. Around the 8, frequency, eight hertz and 16 where it starts. 8 and 16. So something there looks weird. I just look for patterns and shapes and, and things. In, I'm not a scientist. I'm not 
I'm nothing. I'm just a guy who observes shit and uh, was actually trained to observe shit. And uh, that's all I could say. And I see things and I report on it. Basically, my channel, all I'm doing is documenting what I see and put it up there for people down the road can go back when they're doing their research or doing a document, whatever they're doing. They'll find the little pieces here and there of my channel, Blue Kool-Aid, uh, whatever, all the other channels. He's the one on my head because that's the only reason I knew about the extra blast. I just saw his video this morning. So let me show you his channel real quick. He's, he's got a cool personality. If you guys are into space stuff and don't know who he is, you probably know him before you know me. But if you don't, here he is. Uh, and he tried. This is why I like his channel too. He tries to explain it, not just rattle off shit. He literally tries to teach you. Kathy's got a good channel too. She's uh, that's a new video. Let's see what she did. She puts music to it. That's something I'm gonna turn down for that. But um, I don't know if there's copyright on it. Um, this is the magnetic shield I always show you that looks like a spider. That's what it's supposed to look like, by the way. Since we're here, let me show you what it currently looks like. Uh, when we go up to ISWA, go to magnetosphere, cut over to like number nine, I think. Yep. That's this. So, when you see this, but it's facing the other direction. That red bow, let me move this down. Um, that red bow is supposed to be like a yellowish to nothing. You would see the curve, but you wouldn't see any red. Now, when the sun blows, like they're showing in this example, when this energy now gets here, even in this example, it only goes to yellow. It's not even red. This is an old description that they have posted on their site. So, the front looks like a spider to me or a wasp maybe that's why i always say it's like the spider whatever because it's got two body parts here's the front body part here's the back body part right so when you when you see this the way it's supposed to look all symmetrical number one and then you're supposed to have lines going across that connect the circuit basically so when you hook a, a ground wire to like your water heater or whatever it helps it uh, connect the circuit. See what I'm saying? A lot of times when the ground wire is bad, things short out. That's what's happening now with these. This is supposed to connect to this. Like It's supposed to go like this. If this is the body, you get a one over the top, one over the top, and they connect. And then it all grounds out to the center. That's not ha ever happening anymore. I have not seen that happen in two years. So, whatever energy is doing this, or if the Earth is doing it, I don't know. Something is changing frequencies, the electromagnetic field, your compasses, if you use the, the ones with the water in them, you would see them bobbling around. Speaking of that, let's take a look. Let's just see if there's any energy. Yes, there is. So, you can see here, this is where they track it. This is the live, the right side's live. So, when you see the needle moving, that's live time worthy magnetic uh, pull uh, what do you call it um, your compass it's like a compass it's showing you a side cut top cut and then it disappears why is that that's a little goofy the live ones down right now see when they start taking stuff down see here it's just starting to jack up here's the history the left side shows you the history in the last so many hours I think I don't know the time frame on that, but it shows you like a recording of the last X amount of time. And when it's normal and everything's quiet, you'll just see the red line and the black line and the needle just sits in the middle of the intersection. When it's jacking around like this, there's energy hitting the earth. When they delete info, this is where I get upset. This is live right now, 1.10 p.m. Chicago time. They just took this down. Also, a not secure site. Something's going on. None of the sites uh, are showing up in my browser as secure. So I, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. And uh, let's take a look here. Since we're here, let's take a look 
and then I'll cut it. I don't want this to be too long. That's why I'm trying to do it not as a live stream, because then I start going on tangents and all that, or rants, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if tangents is the right word even. Here, these triple bows. That's not normal. That's not normal. You're supposed to have one bow. When you pull a bow and arrow thing back, the bow, yeah, the bow, right? Whatever that's called. The piece that bends and you pull the cord back and that front bends. That's what you're looking at. Wow, look at that. That must have been last night. Yep. No, 321. Yeah, that's... Hang on a second. That's not that long ago. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. That looks creepy. Let's start this over. The other one happened on the 20th back here. So this is as of... 10.30 UTC. To 6.50. So it's about 8 hours. This is an 8 hour window. Excuse me. An 8 hour window right here. Let me see the current time. That's the other cool thing with Solar Ham. When you first go on the page. It tells you. The UTC time right here. So if you ever get confused. Like oh shit what time is it. Because they don't go by your local time. They go by universal time. So it's 18.11. 18 is 12 plus 6 would be 18, right? So that means it's 6 p.m. That's how you do military or police time. So 18, where was I just at? So this is 18. This is live. So this is current. This is current right now what's hitting the Earth's uh, system. So now I'm going to go backwards. These are about four minute increments. We're going backwards, backwards. So wait, wait. 1850, I'm gonna show the last hour. Look at that. See, these are pulses of energy coming. And look at this red hot. So something's really burning on the front end of that, which it's supposed to do. It's like a canoe going through water when you got the tip or a boat. And your boat's going through and it makes the ripples come off the sides. But all the water goes around the boat. And it kind of plows through it. Or a snow plow. That's kind of what the Earth's magnetic shield is doing. I don't know if this shows up. But it's plowing through space. They tell us. And I have to go by what they tell us for now. Um, there's two. There's definitely two bows here. One. The one green line, then the second green line. There's two there. And then there's none except just energy. And then you get this splotchiness. I'm going back. Oh, no, I'm going forward here. Go backwards again. I'm looking for the impact time. There's a pretty big one. 1643 about a half hour ago. Now you can see why the earth is lit up in purple on the other screen. Because this is not blocking all the energy that's why i want to say this so if this was up and the shields were strong most of that energy wouldn't get through well right now it's getting through so we see this that's why the energy is showing up on the maps at the ground level here or in the earth's atmosphere so uh this is wag chicago uh just be prepared and alert and all that shit and uh, have a great day I mean, there's nothing you can really do except you, if the power flickers or earthquake, you know, eh, maybe, especially in an area where it doesn't usually happen, this could set something off is what I'm trying to say. So just have your, if you had to leave your house in 10 minutes or less, what would you grab? So have a little bag, but, you know, even if it's got like your favorite family picture or have it nearby where you can just grab a few things. Let's say you can never go back to your house. What in the on your way out the door, what would you grab? You should be thinking about that all the time. Because it could be a fire in your neighborhood, it could be anything. A tornado, a sinkhole. I mean, the world's dangerous, but we don't have to be scared. That's what I'm trying to say. So don't be scared. And I'm sick of the I'm not sick of it, but you get tired of hearing this. Don't be scared, be prepared. There's got to be a new way to say that. That just gets on my nerves when I hear that. Don't be uh, afraid. Yeah, that one rhymes with something else. Never mind. 
don't be afraid you got to get out the door you know what i mean <laughs> all right you guys have a great day i'll be back there's a lot of news going on and uh that's way chicago for now have a great day